Let's hear it for cookies. It's also Dice Day and CBS Sock News Special Report. Day. Okay, um, we can celebrate all of them. Yeah, Cookie Day, and Dice Day, and uh, Sock Day. <sighs> yeah, okay. You probably could uh, make uh, cookies in the shape of dice. I suppose. Anyway, birthdays. Let's get to our big shot birthdays here. And now, the host of our show, Wink Martindale. It, Wink Martindale is 86 today. And wink, wink to you. Wink, wink, yes. He's still around, still doing infomercials. Yeah, he sure is. Okay, hey, you got to make a buck when you can. Yeah, he's very underpaid, I'm sure. Yes. And uh, let's see, Freddie Boom Boom Cannon is 83. You remember uh, Beverly Hillbillies? I do. Remember Jethro? Yes, I re How could you forget The Jethro? big country bumpkin? Well, uh, Jethro, I mean, who is really Max Bear Jr., mm -hmm. is a producer. Done quite well for himself in Hollywood, producing. For a long time. Yes. So there's a lot more to him than the country bumpkin that you saw as Jethro on uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. Yep, that was a surprise to lots of people. Yes. That was who? Again? Okay. Um, let's see. Bob Mo Mosley, uh, he plays bass for Moby Grape, is 77. One of your favorite groups, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Moby Grape. Okay, one of my favorite groups of all time, The Birds. Singer, bassist, Chris Hillman of The Birds is 75. Chris Hillman. Yep. Actor Jeff Bridges is 70. You know, and he, he had a tough uh, battle there. He had to live under the shadows of his father for quite a while, but he did carve out uh, a reputation for himself. Quite well, too. Quite well. Lloyd Bridges is dead, and we mm -hmm. remember him from Sea Hunt. Sea Hunt. Yes. Ah, let's see. Guitarist Gary Rosington of Leonard Skinner is 68. Actress Patricia Wedig is 68. Actor Tony Todd is 65. And let's see. Actor Kevin Sussman, 49. Model Tyra Banks, 46. Actress Lindsay Felton, 35. Actor Orlando Brown is 32. And actress Scarlett Estevez is yeah. 12. 12 years old. Okay. wonder if she's related to Emilio Estevez. You can't help but wonder. Yes. Can't help. Okay. Uh, local birthdays. We got them. They're coming up. Enter to win a Cold Stone Creamery ice cream birthday cake. I love cake. Yeah! Oh, yes. Every week, we'll give away a delicious Cold Stone Creamery ice cream birthday cake, and you could win. I think it's time to sell do you have a birthday? Mm-hmm. Roger that. Yes. Then call, email, or regular mail us the date, include your name, address, and phone number. Every Friday morning, we'll pick a winner for that week. Send us the birthdays of your family, your co-workers, and your friends. We'll put the information in our database, then send them birthday greetings on their special day. And every week, we pick a winner for the Cold Stone Creamery Ice Cream Birthday Cake. Where no matter how you slice it, it's a piece of cake. Let's see who will have their cake and eat it, too. Don't wait. Enter now and get ready to win. Oh, my God, really? That is too cool. On AM 1230. We have our KXO Cold Stone Creamery birthdays. Happy birthday, Andrew Herrera, Irene Contreras, Blanca Estela Jimenez, Mike Silva, Pearl Rosas, Dr. El Nawi, Carmen Nolta, Virginia Graf, Pablo Vargas Hernandez, Fernando Fernandez, Terry Wilson, Catherine Moran, Kenny Caldera, Rosemary Paisel, Justin Kiro Singh, Lori Cobley, Angel Bastida, Julian Escalera, Brian Ortiz, Brennan Brown, Yolanda Negrete, Charlie Luca, who is 98. Charlie is a uh, snowbird from Canada visiting the Imperial Valley. Happy birthday, 98-year-old Charlie Luca. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Let's hear it for Charlie, and welcome to the Imperial Valley. We're glad to have you. Hey. Hey. 
<sighs> and uh, I may have uh, forgotten to mention this. This is Hand Washing Awareness Week. So please, do us all a favor. And wash your hands. Okay, yeah. That's uh, wash both hands, not just one. That's true. You're okay. No alter. You, you need to do both. You got it. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, let's see. Lots of things going on. Calexico lit their tree last night. Yeah, that's a right. A car ran into a tree. Yeah, that's you're going <laughs> to... <laughs> that Molly was a fast lights movie. their tree tonight. And uh, uh, El Centro Friday night, I believe. Uh, fr yeah, I yeah. think so. We'll have... Yes. That's on Friday night. Um, and, and they're back to being Christmas trees again mm -hmm. instead of holiday trees. Yes. Good thing. Yes. Oh, well, you know, that's just the way it is. <sighs> and uh, Friday night also is the NAF uh, parade, right? That's right. I'll okay. be there. Okay. Wearing a Santa hat? Uh, I do a lot of times wear a Santa hat if I can find one that fits. <clears throat> oh, we've got one here in the studio. Well, I don't think it fits, probably. Most uh, every hat that anybody has does not fit my head. I'll have to check this one out and see. Spot clean, it says, with yes. mild detergent. Do not wash. Okay. Doesn't have a size, you know. I guess one, if I'd have paid a little bit more money, I would have probably gotten a size. Yes, attack. one one size fits many. Many, yeah. Okay. Not all, but many. Yes. Okay, uh, we're ready for news if you are. I'm ready. Okay, it's World in California News Headlines right now, brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist for sales, for service. You contact Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. CBS News Special Report. The chairman of the House Judiciary Committee has just laid out the case for impeaching the president. Facts before us are undisputed. Congressman Jerry Nadler opening a new round of hearings, spelling out why Democrats believe Mr. Trump violated his oath of office. This committee has voted to impeach two presidents for obstructing justice. We have voted to impeach one president for obstructing a congressional investigation. To the extent that President Trump's conduct fits these categories, there is precedent for recommending impeachment here. Ranking Republican Doug Collins says it's all about party politics. You just don't like the guy. You haven't liked him since November of 2016. The chairman has talked about impeachment since last year when he was elected chairman. Four legal scholars will be questioned about the constitutional requirements for impeachment. CBS News Special Report. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Yes, summer is over, but it still can get hot. You can rely on York's Affinity Premium Comfort System to keep your home cool and comfortable. You'll get maximum efficiency thanks to advanced technology that automatically adjusts to meet demand, helping to significantly reduce your energy bill. You can stay connected via Wi-Fi-enabled touchscreen thermostat with programmable reminders and selectable operating modes to optimize your comfort. Call Lock Air Condition conditioning your local York dealer and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency. Contractor license 696216. California headline news, Senator Kamala Harris ends her campaign for the presidency, saying it didn't have the financial support to be successful, saying she's proud her campaign brought new perspective to issues like teacher pay and gun violence. Our campaign uniquely spoke to the experiences of black women and people of color and their importance to the success and the future of this party. Harris's departure from the race marking her first defeat as a political candidate, having days after a former campaign staffer released a scathing criticism on how her campaign was being run. Latest storm cell in our state brought heavy rains and snow to much of the area, and the Sierras resorts impacted again. Kirkwood reported in the last 24 hours. Over 46 inches of snow. Most resorts reporting around the region anywhere over the last four days, five days, anywhere up to four, up to five feet. Kevin Cooper with Lake Tahoe TV. Another storm system moving in this weekend. A cop in L.A. on leave after his body camera showed him fondling a dead woman's breast. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. For all your air conditioning, heating, and sheet metal needs, 
Call Lock Air Conditioning today. Do you know Celso formerly from Valley Auto Parts and CarQuest? He's the best machinist in the Valley, and he's now at Centinella Motorsports Machine Shop, your engine rebuild experts. Engine boring, engine balancing, grinding crankshafts, rebuilding heads, head shaving, and head resurfacing. From professional motor restoration to high-performance custom jobs, they've got the tools and they know how to use them. Pickup and delivery available. Come see Celso, best machinist in the Valley, at Centinella Machine Shop, 423 West Dayton Road on the corner of Myrtle drive just off of highway 86 it's page one of the local news page one of the service of quick lane tire and auto centers they've got two locations in the valley on imperial avenue next to food for less in el centro and in brawley the brawley auto center highway 86 and julia drive they service all makes and all models and you never need an appointment Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Wednesday morning, the California Highway Patrol releases a report. George Gale, filed the story. It is on a fatal injury incident. The incident occurred Sunday over the Thanksgiving Day weekend. Highway Patrol says that they received the call at 6.40 p.m. Sunday evening. Uh, the call reported a collision on eastbound Interstate 8 east of Bonds Corner. A vehicle had collided with the rear of a motor home. Initial information indicated both vehicles were on fire and there were possible fatalities. County Sheriff's deputies were the first on scene and made contact with the occupants of the motor home. CHP units arrived on scene and found both vehicles fully engulfed in flames. County uh, fire arrived and extinguished the fire. The Highway Patrol says both vehicles were completely destroyed. Five occupants of the motor home suffered minor injuries and were transported to El Centro Regional Medical Center for treatment. Driver of the Cadillac that had collided with the motor home suffered fatal injuries. His identity has not been confirmed. It's believed he was from Glendale, Arizona. Occupants of the motor home are from uh, Peoria, Arizona. Eastbound lanes of the interstate were shut down for about 30 minutes. Collision remains under investigation. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. A car hit a Christmas tree. It happened uh, Tuesday night on Interstate 8 at the Highway 111 southbound on-ramp. A car hit the Christmas tree that was in the middle of the roadway. The tree had blown off a vehicle that was carrying the tree home. No one was injured. KXO News Time 743. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the Valley on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro and in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Quick Lane services all makes and all models and you never need an appointment. They're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 6 p.m., Saturdays 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. And Quick Lane has the best prices on name brand tires, guaranteed. Just ask your Quick Lane advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Continuing with more local news, it's a mixed load of narcotics. George Gale explains. It was found at the Highway 86 checkpoint. El Centro Sector Board Patrol were recently working the checkpoint when a 27-year-old man driving a black Infinity drove up. K-9 detection team alerted to the vehicle and it was sent to the secondary inspection area. Agents inspecting the vehicle discovered 12 packages hidden inside the vehicle's cargo area. It was determined the packages contained substances consistent with methamphetamine, heroin, and cocaine. Packages contained 29 pounds of meth, 20, uh, 2 pounds of heroin, and 23 pounds of cocaine. Total value was estimated at $385,200. Driver, a U.S. citizen, the narcotics, and the vehicle were all turned over to the Drug Enforcement Administration for further investigation. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. That concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the local news, the service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They've got two locations in the valley, one in Brawley, another in El Centro. Remember, Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Have you been to the peanut patch yet? Well, I know you've heard me tell you about the peanut patch in Yuma. Isn't it about time that you head to the peanut patch? and check them out the peanut patch they're open monday through saturday 9 a.m till 5 p.m yuma time they're closed on sunday they've got a great store that carries many homemade chocolates in either bark or cluster form they make their own fresh english toffee their pecan turtles are made from scratch and they are mouth-watering delicious 
chocolate covered raisins, almonds, coffee beans, cinnamon bears, chocolate raspberry sticks, and so much more. The Peanut Patch in Yuma. If you're leaving the Imperial Valley, head east on Interstate 8, take Avenue 3E, turn right south past MCAS Yuma until you come to East County 13th Street, then turn left and go about another mile and a half and you're at the Peanut Patch. Great gifts, great fun. It's the Peanut Patch in Yuma. Page two of the local news and weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or retirement planning. In other local news, El Centro has a new mayor. The El Centro City Council reorganized last night and selected Efren Silva to serve as mayor for the coming year. Silva thanked outgoing mayor Edgar Garcia for his year of service. Councilman Jason Jackson was selected to serve as mayor pro tem for the next year. Holiday ceremony is coming up in Brawley. George Gale filed this story. It was announced by the city of Brawley they will hold the Christmas tree lighting ceremony for their city this evening at 5.30 p.m. Ceremony will be held at the North Plaza kiosk. Public is encouraged to attend and kick off the holiday season in Brawley. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. NAF uh, Holiday Parade is just around the corner. It's the 22nd installment of the annual Holiday Light Parade. It'll be held this Friday at Naval Air Facility El Centro beginning at 7 p.m. In keeping with its longtime tradition of uh, community outreach and partnering, NAF is opening the gates to the installation and inviting the public to come and see a small town lighted night parade. The uh, parade features groups from on and off the facility. In years past, uh, marching bands, classic cars, Star Wars, characters, horses, fire trucks, and military equipment have been featured in the procession. Free cookies will be offered to all. Foods such as pizza, nachos will be available for uh, purchase along with beverages. Parking is limited. Guests should arrive between 5.30 and 6.30 p.m. to stake out a section along the parade route. Guests uh, may want to uh, bring a portable chair or so to make viewing easier. Last year, nearly 1,200 residents enjoyed a fun evening as a kickoff to the holiday season. Well, the El Centro Police Department receives a grant. George Gale filed this story. It is a traffic education and enforcement grant. It was awarded by the California Office of Traffic Safety. $50,000 one-year grant is for an enforcement and education program. The grant will be used for DUI driver's license uh, uh, checkpoints. Patrols are specifically looking for suspected alcohol and or drug-impaired drivers. Violations of California's hands-free cell phone law and vehicle code violations. Uh, patrols targeting uh, primary causes of crashes such as speeding, improper turns, running stop signs or signals, right-of-way violations, and uh, driving on the wrong side of the road. Traffic safety education presentations for youth and the general community on distracted and impaired driving, bicycle and pedestrian safety, creating hot sheets identifying repeat DUI offenders and officer training to identify suspected impaired drivers and conduct sobriety tests. Funding was provided by a grant from the OTS through the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And we'll be back with a look at the weather. Have you received notice that your Medicare health plan is changing or going away? Are you turning 65 soon or are you newly eligible to Medicare and have questions about your Medicare options? Then give David or Jose a call at David H. West Insurance to learn about the ABCs of Medicare. Don't delay. Call David H. West Insurance Services now at 760-352-3411. That's 760-352-3411. That's David H. West Insurance. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. The National Weather Service says a Pacific storm system will quickly move through the area today, bringing a quick burst of showers. Light rain will be common in the Imperial Valley during the afternoon hours. Although some clouds will persist, drier weather with near normal temperatures will grace the region during the latter half of the week. 
and other very weak weather disturbance may produce some scattered light showers early next week, though many locations may not experience any rain at all. 64 the high yesterday, 55 the low, a trace of precipitation reported. Today, rain likely after 10 a.m. Look for a high temperature near 64. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. The chance of precipitation, 80%. New precipitation amounts between a tenth and a quarter of an inch are possible. Partly cloudy tonight with a low around 49. West-northwest wind about 5 miles an hour. Thursday, mostly sunny with a high near 68. Northwest wind about 5 miles per hour. We have 57 degrees downtown, 80% relative humidity. And uh, according to the weather service throughout the valley, anywhere from sprinkles to light rain. Yeah, I'll take my uh, cone with sprinkles, please. The uh, page two of the local news and weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. Siri, restaurants nearby. Here are some options. I want some cheese bun and fries. And I want some imperial thick burger. But I want a salad. Okay, I just want a juicy burger and an ice cold beer. And I don't want to miss the game. Everyone quiet, please. I have the place. Burgers and beer. Great food. Ice cold beer and you can watch your favorite game. Burgers and beer has something delicious for everyone. Burgers and beer. The, the best, best burgers, burgers in, in town. town. You're welcome. It's sports time, brought to you this morning by the Imperial Hardware Company Dewitt Centers in El Centro, Holtville, and Brawley. That's where you'll find what you need when you need it. NBA action last night. Pistons pounded the Cavaliers 127-94. Magic topped the Wizards 127-120. Heat beat the Raptors 121-110 in overtime. Yeah, in overtime, the Heat scored 13 to the Raptors 2. Mavericks over the Pelicans, 118-97. Spurs in double overtime topped the Rockets, 135-133. It was the Lakers, 105, Nuggets, 96. And the Clippers clobbered the Trailblazers, 117-97. As the weather begins to cool down, it's time to get back outside and enjoy the season with family and friends, which means it's also time to get some of those projects done. You know, the ones you've been putting off all summer long? When you DIY, let Imperial Hardware Company lend a hand. Visit one of our Do It Centers today for all your landscaping and irrigation supplies, gardening tools, outdoor decor, paints and stains, grilling gear, Yeti coolers, rental equipment, and much more. You see, we know exactly what Valley residents are looking for. Because we're locally owned and family operated, serving this community for over a century. Check us out online at imperialhardwarecompany.com. Our Do It Centers provide the sweet spot between convenience and selection, combining the value and variety of a warehouse store with the ease of visiting a neighborhood market. And remember, we're open seven days a week. Visit us in Brawley, El Centro, or Holtville to find what you need when you need it. Get it done with a little help from Imperial Hardware Company. Well, coming up, it's the big one, Andy Rees. Well, the fight's big. Andy's pretty good size, too. Andy Rees with a uh, rematch with Anthony Joshua. It takes place in Saudi Arabia. And, uh, well, it, uh, it could be a big one. Rees uh, has to prove he's not a one-hit wonder and uh, is going to earn his place in boxing history. Well, the college football playoff rankings are out. It's Utah, Oklahoma, Wisconsin, and Florida making big moves in the CFP Top 25. Yeah, but it's uh, Ohio State, LSU, Clemson. Yeah, yeah, it, it's still the same guys who are there. And, uh, well, the Carolina Panthers have fired head coach Ron Rivera. So he's looking for a job. Uh, that's it for uh, Sports Time, brought to you this morning by the Imperial Hardware Company Do It Centers in Brawley, El Centro, and Calexico, and uh, Holtville. Yeah, they're in Holtville. Uh, get it done with a little help from the Imperial Hardware Company. 
Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full-color brochures, blueprints, and high-speed copies to business forms and everything else in between, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing. Thank you for choosing locally owned and operated Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. We have convenient locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and a look at the weather brought to you by Styles and Smiles Complete Salon Services. You can call for an appointment or you can walk in. Styles and Smiles located right by Cardenas Market on Imperial Avenue in El Centro. U.S. stocks are on the elevator up this morning as investors took cheer from a report that Beijing and Washington are still working toward a phase one trade deal, offsetting fears of a delay sparked today earlier by President Donald Trump's remarks. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up 207 points on early trading. The uh, S&P 500 index jumped 24 points and the Nasdaq composite uh, up 62 points. U.S. stock index benchmarks recovered some of the week's lost ground. After Bloomberg News, citing sources familiar, reported that despite signs of fresh tensions, Beijing and Washington were making progress toward a phase one trade deal. The comments also helped to provide a lift to European equities as well. Meanwhile, stocks shrugged off a report on private sector hiring uh, this morning. Employers added just 67,000 workers in November. Payroll processor ADP said a much weaker reading than analysts had forecast, made worse by downward revisions to earlier months. The holidays are getting close, and Styles and Smiles Complete Salon Service wants to make sure that you're looking your best. Celebrate the holidays with your new look. For a limited time, get $20 off of a color combo and highlight from Styles and Smiles. And call now to make your appointment, 760-960-2382. That's 960-2382. Hey, hairdressers, Styles and Smiles is looking for two stylists. Yes, they have two chairs that are open. Just call 960-2382 and apply. That's 960-2382. Or stop by Styles and Smiles by Cardenas Market on North Imperial Avenue in El Centro. We can expect rain today, mainly after 10 a.m. Look for a high near 64, south wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, then turning out of the north. We have an 80% chance of precipitation with new rainfall amounts between a tenth and a quarter of an inch possible. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 49. West-northwest wind, 5 miles an hour. Thursday, mostly sunny with a high near 68. Northwest wind, about 5 miles per hour. We have 58 degrees downtown, 80% relative humidity. Wind out of the west-northwest at 3 to 7 miles an hour. And reports of everything from sprinkles to light rain throughout the Imperial Valley already. Drive with care. The roads are slick. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Styles and Smiles, here to make you look your best. Styles and Smiles, located right by Cardenas Market on Imperial Avenue in El Centro. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. CBS News next. It is brought to you by Imperial Radiology offering all areas of imaging and staying in tune with the industry. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Steve Kaith in the House Judiciary Committee is holding its first impeachment hearing, and we're live in Washington with CBS's Steve Dorsey. Steve, today we're hearing from four constitutional scholars on impeachment, including Harvard's Noah Feldman. President Trump has committed impeachable high crimes and misdemeanors by corruptly abusing the office of the presidency. Chairman Jerry Nadler. If it is true that President Trump has committed an impeachable offense or multiple impeach impeachable offenses, 
then we must move swiftly to do our duty and charge him accordingly. The committee's top Republican, Georgia's Doug Collins, called the hearing a waste of time. Put witnesses in here that they can be fact witnesses who can be actually cross-examined. That's fairness, and every attorney on this panel knows that. This is a sham. Live in Washington, Steve Dorsey, CBS News. Well, President Trump scrapped a planned news conference at the NATO meeting in London, but he's had plenty to say today about Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. He's too fast. And honestly, with Trudeau, he's a nice guy. I, I find him to be a very nice guy. But, you know, the truth is that uh, I called him out on the fact that he's not paying 2%. That's about what members pay to NATO. Trudeau indicates he has a good relationship with Mr. Trump. Trudeau and other leaders were seen on video seemingly making light of all the time Mr. Trump spent yesterday talking to reporters. A U.S. envoy is in Afghanistan for some key talks as we hear from CBS's Cammy McCormick. Days after President Trump announced the Taliban talks were continuing, Zalmay Khalilzad arrived in Kabul to meet with senior Afghan officials on the way ahead. He's trying to get the Afghan leaders and Taliban together at the table. President Trump claims the Taliban wants to make a deal, but it has so far refused to negotiate with the government there. A Virginia woman died trying to protect one of her kids in a moment of crisis. CBS's Jim Crisula has details. Police say Richmond, Virginia Fire Department Lieutenant Ashley Berry was not the intended target when she was fatally shot while protecting one of her children from gunfire. The 33-year-old was the mother of three. George Berry is her cousin. To the persons or person who caused us this pain, we appeal to your consciousness to do the right thing and turn yourself into the authorities. The woman was at the home of her boyfriend's family and was getting ready to leave when she was killed as a gunman fired at a next door house. Well, the Trump administration is making a push to end food stamp benefits for about three quarters of a million people. It'll make it harder for states to gain waivers from a requirement that beneficiaries have to work or train for jobs. Wall Street right now, a bounce-back day for the Dow. It's up 190 points. The Nasdaq is up 52. This is CBS News. Why settle for average? With Capital One, you can open an account with a savings rate five times the national average. Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One N.A., member FDIC. Hi, I'm Bruce Fabrizio, inventor of Simple Green. Like you, I'm a big sports enthusiast, and I want my gear to shine like new. That's why it's clean with Simple Green, the concentrated cleaner that's perfect for making your auto, RV, cycling, boating, and other sporting equipment look like new again. Try it today. If you're not 100% satisfied, I'll give you your money back. Visit us at simplegreen.com. Simple Green, Simple Green. Save big when you make Burlington your code headquarters for great looks the family will love. We're loaded with the latest anoraks, parkas, puffers, and tons of cozy linings perfect for cooler weather. Burlington stores are packed with the hottest trends like color blocking, animal prints, high shine, and the newest logo looks. Plus boots, scarves, hats, and gloves too. Hurry in for the best brand name styles at up to 60% off other retailers' prices every day. Burlington, style for everyone. A new report indicates younger people should pay attention to their cholesterol as much as older folks. A massive study of nearly 400,000 people from 19 countries found young adults with bad cholesterol levels are already incubating the risk of suffering a heart attack or stroke over the next four decades. The study in The Lancet concludes people should start getting their cholesterol checked in their mid-20s. Not necessarily to start taking statins that young, but hopefully to start making the lifestyle changes that can prevent cardiovascular disease. Vicki Barker, CBS News. A 30-year-old man in Haines City, Florida is charged with child neglect after leaving his juvenile son in front of a closed police department with some clothes but no food or water. Police say he did it because he thought his son might be gay after allegedly finding male pornography on the boy's cell phone. Authorities say when they closed in on him, he fled a house leaving two younger children home alone. Steve Kaith and CBS News. At Quicken Loans, our 17,000 team members know that home is so much more than a house. That's because our clients tell us all the time. Hey, this is Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans, and we want to help you save money on your mortgage with some of the lowest refinancing rates ever. Rates are historically low. 
you may be able to reduce your rate and save money on your monthly mortgage payment right now. Pay off some credit card debt or put some money towards that new bathroom or kitchen you've always wanted. The rate today on our 30-year fixed rate mortgage is 3.99%. APR 4.18%. That's right, 3.99%. While we can't predict what will happen in the future, we do know that rates have dropped and now is the time to save money on your mortgage. Call us today at 800-QUICKEN or go to rocketmortgage.com to learn how refinancing now may be the right mortgage solution for you. That's 800-QUICKEN or go to rocketmortgage.com. Rates subject to change. Pay 1.375% fee to receive this discounted rate. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Imperial Radiology in Imperial now offers 3D mammography, also referred to as digital breast tomosynthesis or TOMO, to enhance the imaging needs of women's health care in the Imperial Valley. Annual screening mammogram requires no referral from your doctor, and your health insurance must cover these benefits at no cost to you. Imperial Radiology also offers breast MRI and breast ultrasound to provide a complete assessment. For your next appointment, call Imperial Radiology, 760 5 4550340 that's 5450340 or log on to imperialcountyradiology.com CBS News brought to you by Imperial Radiology offering you state of the art imaging services in a comfortable setting for your next imaging make it Imperial Radiology in Imperial and now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. A classic case of neurotic narcissism and a first-class smarty pants. AM 1230 KXO. This is an ugly candy bar. Peter Paul's Almond Cluster. It bulges from the way they stuff those almonds and crunchy stuff inside. It's so ugly, in fact, we're not going to show it to you. But don't go away. We're going to show you something. Isn't that something? Believe me, it's better than looking at our candy bar. Funny thing, ugly as it is, almond cluster tastes just beautiful. Why people who make such a crunchy, chocolatey candy can't fix the way it looks? I don't know, maybe we should be on our radio or something, uh, skywriting. Uh, 